Alright, what's up, THP? Figured I'd get around to doing this sooner or later. Um, awesome thread idea, first off. And uh, here is my bag. So, uh, first off, rocking the Puma Jigs. Probably, I think, hands down, my favorite golf shoes. Um, comfortable, but what sold me on it was the spikes. Um, I played soccer in high school, always, always wore Puma cleats. I always liked them, and when these came out, I really just couldn't say no. Um, so yeah, those were the shoes. And then as to the bag. So, played a scramble last weekend and won this bag in a raffle, which is awesome, because I needed a new one. Pretty simple, just got my towels on the back and a rangefinder and a brush. Got the uh, Leopold GX1, because it's tournament legal. Uh, Razor X Forged, which I'm up and down on every day almost, it feels like. Um, Corsa Ghost. Um, Monaco Tour Rosa. Um, CG1060. And a Vokey 52. Got an M4 and M3 right here. And then an R9 Super Tri. And I just returned my 13 degree FL fairway wood. Um, I bought it because I needed something off the tee to replace it because it wasn't hitting the 310 well. Um, when I replaced it with the R9, it just totally lost the need for a fairway wood at this time. So I'm back to a 15.5 DST, which is an amazing club. Um, I didn't think the Mashi was going to be that much better than it because it was going to be hard to beat the DST, but um, might see an M1 in here soon. All right, so before I get into the clubs and show you everything, um, just in this box, it's the rain cover. I don't know if you guys know, OGO runs a, um, it's an interesting rain cover. It actually goes in these uh, little slots on the bag. I don't know if you can see it on the video because it's bad lighting out here. Um, there you go. And so it goes in and then it opens from the top. So you don't have to unzip anything. It's not a pain in the ass to uh, get your clubs out, which is a big deal for me when I go back home and play in Washington. Um, through high school, I hated my rain cover. So this is an awesome step up. Um, this is where I keep my gloves. I uh, have like three of them. Um, I try and switch a lot because out here in Arizona, I sweat a bit because it's uh, hot this time of year. It's about 105 when I go golfing. Um, empty pouch. This is where you keep like cell phone and just like valuables pouch is what I have it at now. These are cool. Uh, the insulation drink holders. Got water in one side, Gatorade in the other. Um, those really come in handy. That's where I keep, as you can see, Hooters. That's where I keep my tees. And then this is, hands down, the coolest bag I've ever seen in terms of this one pocket. It is uh, zipperless. That's where I keep my balls. Right now, I'm playing with the Pentas. And I have Pro V's in there. Not a fan of them at all. They spin way too much for me on the green. So short ships, I've been leaving them short in the scramble, and that was frustrating. Um, and then in here, just keep random stuff. So, tool for the R9. Um, this is really cool. This is a gift I got for my birthday. As I drop it. It's a uh, silver ball mark with my name on it. Which is pretty cool. Um... Then I have Groove Sharpener, which has come in handy because I'm picky and I don't like switching wedges. Um, and the Green Saver, which thank you, THP, for the testing because I never would have seen this, and it is amazing. Alright, so on to the clubs. 
can see. So right now I'm trying to figure out a grip because I'm not a fan of the cross lines that come on it. So this is my pitching wedge. Right now I got the um, multi compound on here in purple because I have an outfit where I wear orange and purple just to try and be obnoxious on the course. Um, I really do like these clubs in terms of uh, softness. Really, when you hit the ball, you know. Um, they they work well for me. The only difference is that, unlike my old clubs, their lofts are a lot higher. So I've lost distance solely because the clubs, like my 7-iron, is the 6 in the set. Uh, wedges, my Vokey. So you can see I've really worn this thing down, um, using it a lot. Um, grip needs to be replaced too. It's just a uh, tour velvet. Sharpen the grooves quite a bit, but you can see it's got an X on it. Um, and then my 60, which is hands down my favorite wedge. This is my money club. Same thing. This thing's beat up completely. I've had it for years now. It's a uh, it's a good club, single dot. On it, I have the uh, Patriot grip, which is the same as the multi compound, just without the cord up here. And I like it. Um, money goes to a good cause, which was a big deal for me. Um, love supporting our troops and um, the Folds of Honor Foundation. Let's see, this one's pretty worn down too. It needs to be cleaned. That's my bad. <laughs> um, the Monaco Tour. This is uh, there's courses out here that have much slower greens and much faster ones, and so I carry two putters, one for a blade, one for a mallet, because this probably sounds weird. In the mornings, they water, and the greens are very, very, very slow. But once you hit about the sixth hole, they completely change, um, and they get a lot faster. And then here's my uh, Ghost, which is an awesome club. And I have the uh, giant grip, but light. Um, Surprising me, it has no weight to it, so it really didn't change the club for me at all, which is kind of a big deal for putters. You don't want to mess with what works too much. Um, so here's the DST. It has the uh, Mitsubishi Daimana on it. It's a um, 74. Unfortunately, it's reg flex because I need to work on tempo with... Um, because it's such a low lofted club at a 15.5, you really don't want to be too aggressive with it or you don't get it up in the air. And 100-yard um, rollers aren't that fun. Um, you guys have all seen the Mashies. Um, amazing clubs. Uh, needs to be cleaned. Just the rails on it. Uh, this is the uh, M3. The um, Miyazaki on it, which are awesome. Um, the 59S shaft. Um, I don't have a problem because I have a slow tempo. I haven't had a problem hooking this one at all, like a lot of people do. Um, but it, it's nice that Cleveland offers the option to go for the heavier shaft because a lot of people really, the light shafts don't work for them. Um, my body, for instance, has a really quick swing. And uh, he just, he couldn't hit any of my clubs because they were so light. Um, and then we have my R9, which is an awesome club. I was really surprised by it. Um, and what I did is I actually pulled my shaft from the 310. So I have the uh, Sikua 59S Gold in here. Um, it's a bit shorter than it normally would play. Um, the stock shaft was about half inch longer, I think. And that's because when I had it pulled and the ferrule put on it, I didn't realize that the hosel was different. Um, but yeah, no, I, it plays well. It's on two degrees open, and it is uh, heel weighted with 16 on the heel, which is how I like to play drivers for some reason. Um, one last thing I forgot to mention. So on my irons, I actually played high, high school. I um, played with graphite. And so I'm so used to a light shaft, and I needed to make this switch to steel uh, for accuracy. And so I have the uh, 
the SLs in here. DG, um, great shaft. They're unbelievably light, but they perform a bit stiffer than the graphite I had before, so I didn't give up too much. And um, I really do like the feel of them. Yeah, so my good luck charm right here. Got a rock Tennessee. Love the orange. And yeah, that's uh, that's my bag. Thank you, THP. Have a good one, guys.